हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू आर वेल एंड टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज एस टी एम एनालिसिस इन आर नो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एस डी एम सो वैन यू आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एनी एनालिसिस इन आर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट इज इन यूर माइंड इज दैट विच पैकेज इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट एनालिसिस सो फॉर एस टी एम एनालिसिस थ्री पैकेजेस आर रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज जी जी प्लाट टू डिसमो एंड डीप लेयर डी पी लेयर सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल दिस पैकेजेस सो आई डोंट नीड टू इंस्टॉल दिस पैकेजेस बट इफ यू डोंट हैव दिस पैकेजेस यू फर्स्ट नीड टू इंस्टॉल दिस पैकेजेस सो प्लीज फर्स्ट ओपन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक दिस पैकेजेस गो ऑन पैकेज just click uh, search here ggplot2 uh, here you can find a ggplot2 it's mean you have a, a package name ggplot2 again find here dismo i also have a dismo if you don't have here dismo uh, you first need to install this packages and again also search deep layer and uh, here again is shown to me uh, so uh, i have these three packages and so i uh, just need to library or activate these packages so i don't install these packages i just uh, uh, do library and uh, activate these packages so i library one by one so if any fault in libraries it show me okay so all my uh, packages are now activated uh, so first step is uh, when we doing any analysis in r we have we need a data set so in the case of stm analysis we need two data sets that is one is the occurrence data set and other is uh, environmental data like uh, minimum temperature maximum temperature uh, precipitation data and so on so uh, we have our data in csv files i have sent you a as a folder in which all data set is available uh, go to data set uh, like uh, in my in my case uh, copy uh, copy your data set uh, zip folder and paste in uh, your uh, project data like in my case i am going to uh, premium batch uh, i uh, copy this sdm here sdm data and after copy i extract in this folder so uh, you need to ex uh, extract these files in your working directory on which you are working like i am show show to you here Uh, you can see in my working directory is premium batch so i go on its uh, uh, original data form ya yeah, or uh, you can say its basic file or locations and uh, extract my stm data here so uh, right click on it and extract here when i extracting he uh, he say to me you have already this data set uh, so i want to replace this data set and just to all Uh, in your case you don't have this data set and your file will be automatically extracted uh, now uh, come again on your script and uh, go on file from here and open premium batch and you can see here our data hooded uh, rab locations uh, environmental uh, forecasting or uh, environmental uh, current environmental in the form of grd or raster data form uh, so uh, we need to import these data sets for importing of uh, csc or our location data or occurrence data we need just running this code uh, it's my file name in your case if you have own data set just uh, uh, write here names and uh, give its location and read dot csv and uh, then uh, write uh, inverted comma and 
inverted commas within the inverted comma you uh, write your file name original file names dot csv so when we run this code so after uh, library all these packages when i run this code and uh, you can say it import data set in global environment this file is automatically imported in global environment so we don't need to import from excel or giving a specific path if your data set are in your uh, uh, projects directory in your directory working directory you just need to give its name in inverted comma it will import automatically so uh, we want to view this data set click on this data set and you can see here is a three type of data set longitude latitude and uh, occurrence data that is mean one mean present and zero mean absent so uh, you are also have this data set if you are working on the same uh, style or same research and you have also these data sets uh, of your uh, required area or specific species species now we need to uh, import another data set name current uh, environmental data and forecasting environmental data so for this also run same this code uh, for uh, importing roster data we need a pack, uh, functions called stack uh, here we use a function stack or in above code we use the function read.csv because uh, this file is in the form of csv it may be uh, you have a uh, file in, a, in the form of excel so you can simply import from here if you have a file in excel but these files are in a roasted format uh, so you uh, just need to use function stack and this will import your data set so uh, run this code and when you do analysis, uh, especially uh, uh, Zusa, uh, when you do your own data set, just replace uh, its file name with your uh, with your file name. Run this code. Okay. Now we have imp uh, import uh, uh, three data sets. One is our uh, occurrence data, and two is environmental factors, uh, current uh, and forecasting data. Uh, if you want to uh, check this data set here is a raw data set you can head it and uh, check its detail uh, so uh, if you want to head it uh, copy this uh, data set and paste here and run this code uh, it show error so uh, this data set is not uh, un, uh, will be viewed by using this command head data set so uh, because these are a, uh, a special data so we need it to another functions uh, that is tag and uh, uh, we use to view its uh, plot so draw its plot uh, first we draw its plot in <coughs> environmental data on current uh, minimum temperature and uh, environmental data current precipitations we have our precipitation and uh, temperature data so run this code uh, one by one when you run first code minimum temperature it show a, a map of uh, minimum temperatures of this area and uh, when you uh, run another plot uh, that is uh, precipitations it show a precipitation and data now you can see uh, here is a precipitation data and uh, here is a uh, temperature data no extract relevant data so uh, we need a specific data uh, so we extract this data from uh, these roster files uh, so uh, we are uh, 
uh, we are first extracting longitude and latitude data and then extract from environmental data current and uh, put it rev location so first extract this now you can see again OD data location this file check it you can see it only extract uh, longitude and latitude it uh, remove the column uh, occurrence so you can see here we just give it longitude and latitude uh, he ignore the uh, species data uh, or occurrence data present or absent data in other cases we uh, when we uh, environmental data extract environmental data current and uh, locations with lab locations so run this code you can see here uh, data set here is a uh, longitude and latitude data according to these instructions so uh, we need to combine data set uh, with the occurrence data with environmental data so uh, we want to uh, combine these data two data sets in a single frame and uh, run this code a uh, c bind function is used to uh, bind the columns for example we are binding hooded wrap data with hooded wrap environment environmental data so uh, run this code now we can check <coughs> uh, in this file uh, you have seen all data sets are combined uh, like uh, <coughs> longitude and latitude data and presents and uh, minimum temperature and uh, precipitation so these data sets are combined and make a single files and now you uh, go to uh, create scatter plot of this data set after combining uh, we want to see its scatter plots and just uh, go ggplot functions ggplot2 function is ggplot and give its instructions about uh, data file name aesthetic uh, what is in x axis and x uh, in x axis minimum temperature and y axis the precipitation and give colors based on presence or absence and so uh, geom points uh, so we want to make a uh, geom point or scatter plot so run this code uh, you can see a scatter plot uh, indicating that presence uh, here is a black dark color or absent uh, uh, for a specific area for a species while the light color bright uh, blue color indicate that like this color indicate that presence of these species so here is a uh, mostly uh, these species are absent while in these areas these species are present so build logistic regression models uh, here is a important model for uh, regressions and so we use logistic regression models glm general linear models <coughs> so uh, we want to uh, compare present data with uh, uh, minimum temperature and precipitations and so family binomial and link logics and this is a, a specification of logistic regressions model and so run this code after running this code i want to see summary and you can check its summary here here is a uh, data in the form of table you can extract your desired uh, uh, data and uh, you can see here it's give us a, a significance level and coefficient uh, variations dispersion parameters for binomial family and taken to be one and other data sets so uh, if you need any data from here you can get uh, this data set for a table of your thesis or articles for filtering next uh, step is filtering of data uh, presence data uh, and absence data so we need to filter presence data and absence data in our plots uh, there is a <coughs> two uh, type of data set that is light uh, uh, blue color show uh, uh, presence of data while the dark color show uh, uh, absence of data so we uh, need to extract absent and uh, presence separately so uh, absent for one and presence for zero so run this code it extract the presence data 
and uh, next code extract the absent data so it uh, separate the present and absent data now you can uh, check only in this file is only a present uh, data 111 another file is uh, that is for absence uh, absence data you can see here only 00 zero, uh, zero mean absent data so again uh, come on code now we want to have uh, model evaluations and ROC plot uh, so ROC plot uh, uh, give us true or false value uh, so for evaluations uh, run this script and presence data and absence data and logistic regressions models uh, run this code so in this data set you just need to uh, uh, your own data set and other codes will be remain same just you need to give uh, replace with your uh, name of your data sets now you can see a uh, uh, true positive value and false uh, positive rate and uh, true positive rate and false positive rate so we must uh, generate predictions we want to predict uh, about species occurrence uh, so uh, uh, use prediction formula predict uh, environmental data print and uh, regression models and type response and run this code you can see general predictions So our code is uh, code have run and if you want to see uh, data set productions click on this and here is again our raw data set we need to uh, visualize it or uh, convert it into a uh, plot or tables. So plot of production data so uh, uh, we want to check this raw data in the form of plot. Here you can see the production plot according to precipitations and uh, minimum temperatures and no uh, points, uh, give points and uh, move to the thresholding and plotting. So additional thresholding and plotting uh, for this, you again this run this code. Uh, here he give the points for uh, species occurrence and uh, for thresholding other thresholding additional or plotting uh, you want to change some value and uh, uh, try this and point it add point here as you can see uh -huh. <coughs> a point and it changes map structures and uh, other conditions so calculate the threshold and plot with uh, threshold levels uh, so for this you need to just run this code uh, you don't uh, need to any change uh, in this uh, scripts you just need to import your data set and uh, just replace the name of uh, these data sets and run the same code for all uh, <coughs> script so run this code first plot production here is a production then add points so you can see additional uh, points here so uh, generate forecasting uh, so we, if we want to generate forecasting about your uh, ecological data uh, so run this code forecast uh, predict uh, environmental forecast and uh, logical <coughs> regression models use logical uh, regression model we want to forecasting based on logical regression models so uh, run this code and uh, after running this code plot it's 
you can see it's uh, forecasting and uh, another uh, you can do is here so uh, plot the difference between the forecast and predictions uh, just run this code it differentiate between uh, forecasting and uh, predictions